Hello YouTube, welcome back again. In front of you here is my jack in a pulpit. And I had some bad news with my jack in a pulpit. This year I um, was doing this spring cleaning in my garden and it turned out that something got into my jack in a pulpit. And what you were looking at was just a picture of my new um, bulbs that we're gonna plant here. This is um, one that I did uh, a video on last year. Had a lot of comments, a lot of response. It does grow native in um, the eastern part of Canada. None of it grows native here. So I was all excited because I had a beautiful growth on it last year. Here's the tag from it. And I put it in my little hidey spot in the, um, the outdoor garden here. It's just in a sheltered spot where it doesn't get a whole lot of... Um, wind or snow in the winter time it's pretty sheltered from the rain just in my woodland garden there and anyways i came out this spring to find it tipped over and rooted through and i couldn't it was just i found this laying on top and i know we have a rabbit in the yard this year and i'm wondering if it um rooted through and found it and and ate the bulbs at least that's what i thought because this was all i found so I did lay this aside and sort of tucked it in there and then today when I was at the garden center I bought that um, the ginger there the panda ginger I saw these guys and they were not a bad price they were a couple bucks for them so I thought oh, I'll put a couple more in the pot since I don't have my jack in a pulpit anymore and then so I got home and had a look in here and they did whoever they is whoever rooted through my pot in the winter time they did miss my actual bulb there. You can see it just at the tip of my finger starting to come up. I don't know if I can zoom in much closer to show you there. There we go. So that is the, the original plant. So this must have just been a side growth off the bulb there. Gives you a good look at um, what they look like. And you can see it was kind of freshly um, torn off. So I thought that this was it. And I'm like, oh, well, there's not much in the pot. That little thing makes a big plant. But I guess there is at least one more in there, so that's good. Um, so what's better, I guess, is now I have a couple more. So I just made a couple indentations here for the, the one original bulb that is not planted. So we have two original bulbs. And then I'm going to unpot or un, undo these guys in, on the tray here, pot them up, and then put a bit of top dressing on there because I lost a good inch or so of soil, whatever dug through it. So let's just have a look here. I did do up a bit of a mix just to go on top of the pot once we're ready here. And it just consists of some nutrient rich soil from the woodland garden itself. Very dark soil. It stays light and, nice and light and fluffy, but very dark. A bit of moss came up with it too. A little bit of peat moss and a little bit of perlite for drainage. So that's just going to go be what's going to go on top of the plants. So let's have a look and see what that looks like when I mix it up. These guys, you don't want them in too compact of soil. You want it to be light, airy, and well draining. You definitely don't want them to sit in water, especially over the winter. So the perlite will just add to the drainage. And there we go. We'll just leave the moss to, to kind of do its thing in there as well. I don't know how much of that we're going to need, but let's open these guys up and have a look and see what we have here so it comes with two and so there's the first one it's definitely much bigger than my little one that i first showed you here as i say it looks like this was just freshly broken off so maybe it was just like going to be a new growth this year a side growth a little broken part on mine too so that looks like a good bulb though and here's the other one looks good as well they both have a little bit of new growth on them, so that's good because then we know which way is up on the, the bulb itself. And they were just in some dry peat, so I guess that's a good way to store them. But anyways, what I will do, now we're going to have four in the pot. So remember the one is in the dead center there. You can just see its tip sticking out just like this here. So they're, um, they're going to be brothers now. I'm going to put this guy in here. And oh, they're bigger than I thought. I'm gonna make my finger hole a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna bury this one too. So say goodbye to him. I'm just gonna cover him over. And I'm gonna drop this guy in the hole there. And let's see, this little one here, I'm just gonna put in this shallow hole over on that side. And then 
The last one I will put in this hole. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger as well. There we go. So plant them up, push the dirt around them, and I'm just going to give it a bit of a covering with my new mix as well, just to make up for what I lost. So a bit of good news today for that. I was really, um, really upset when I seen that it was like torn all apart, especially when I um, found the half empty pot or the, the quarter empty pot and found the actual, um, what I thought was the main plant just laying there. I thought something came through and ate it, but it looks like something just kind of came through and rooted through looking for, for stuff. But I'm glad it missed the main plant. So we will do that. I will put my original tag back in there. I didn't mean to have four plants. I only meant to have the one. As I say, I thought I thought the first um, one that we showed you last year was gone. So buying two more. But anyways, I'm going to give this a good drink of water. I'm also going to give my new one here. If you missed that video, my um, hearty ginger, my panda ginger, uh, a little bit of a drink of water and then throw them back outside and I might even bring them out and put them in a bit of a sunny spot now to give them a boost for um, springtime. I know this guy, he does really good in, um, there's a certain spot in the garden that I keep all my sort of woodland plants. So once he blooms, then I will sort of shove them in deep shade for the summertime, keep them nice and evenly moist. They kind of sit next to one of those little tiny um, sprinkler heads. So they always get um, watered every few days in the summertime and hopefully he'll be happy and continue to grow. I guess next year I'm going to have to rethink how I store these and make sure nothing roots through them while I'm not looking. Anyways, I hope you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I think that might be it. There's one more thing I'm going to show you before I go for the day.